Thanksgiving is just two weeks away. This time of year can be hard for families struggling to put food on the table. I'm Kenzie Krieger, your neighborhood reporter in Crawfordville, and here's how two sisters are stepping up and helping. I told my sister and she was like, yep, let's do it. It's their third year feeding the community for Thanksgiving. Megan Curley and her sister Lois Cook started the dinner because they wanted to help their neighbors. Yep, let's do it. This is what we need to do. This is who we need to reach out to. This is, should be our process and we just ran with it. And it's all coming from donations and their own wallets. Turns out the need is about as big as the holiday itself. I looked at data from United Way's ALICE report, which stands for Asset Limited Income Constrained Employed. It shows 38% of households in Wakulla County are considered to be food insecure. CNN reports so far this year through September, not adjusted for seasonal variations, grocery prices rose to 2.4%. That shows it's less than inflation overall, which was 3.7%. With those numbers in mind, Curly says they hope to help someone who is struggling have a nice holiday. I've always wanted to help people on Thanksgiving and give them, like give back to the community somehow and maybe the less fortunate or the people that are alone on Thanksgiving. They told me anyone is welcome to stop by and pick up a meal. Curly and her sister Cook started gathering donations this summer. I didn't grow up in Wakulla, but I've been here long enough and you, you just see that there's needs in the county. Last year, they fed about 516 families and hope to feed more this holiday. Being a good outlet for people, um, just knowing that someone is benefiting from it is, all I need. <laughs> the dinner is November 22nd at 3.30 p.m. here at Hudson Park. They'll also be helping in Panacea. If you want to help out or donate, you can go to this website, WTXL.TV. In Crawfordville, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Kenzie Krieger with ABC 27.